What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. So the Blazers are approximately two and a half hours away from a potential trade that could see the Blazers pick up either OG Ananubi with their seventh overall pick or get a package with um, including the 12th overall pick and Lou Dort. That's the, the feature of the package, you know? So I wanna go over a potential trade scenario in which the Blazers could get OG Ananubi without giving up the likes of a Nasir Little or a Josh Hart. This actually would be a three-team deal um, with the Blazers, Raptors, and the Pacers, in which would see all three teams, I feel, come out very happy campers. So for the Blazers, what they would have to do is they would have to guarantee Eric Bledsoe's, um, I think it's like $19.2 million contract, plus send over the seventh overall pick to the Pacers. The Pacers would then, in turn, send out Miles Turner and send him over to the Raptors, which would allow for the Raptors to send OG Ananobi to the Blazers. Now, why I feel like this trade would work for all three teams, um, for the Blazers, it would build them a very formidable starting five, like I said, without losing Josh Hart or Nasir. Um, making this roster look very, very good, you know? Um, and then, and that's not even going into the free agency. For the Raptors, I feel this would be a huge upgrade at the five that they've sorely missed for a, a long time since they had Valanchunas manned in that position for them, you know? And then for the Pacers, this would give them a very good chance to be able to move up to draft Jaden Ivey, who they're very high on, which would make all parties involved very happy, in my opinion. Um, as far as for the Blazers, that backup plan, this would be with the OKC Thunder sending us a package centered around Lou Dort and the 12th overall pick. But I feel like the Thunder would need to sweeten that deal up with either more players like an Isaiah Ruby, Ruby or a Darius Baisley or more draft capital in the future, like a first round draft pick in a, in a future draft. Um, now this, this deal with the OKC Thunder would still give the Blazers an opportunity to draft a lottery guy, like an AJ Griffin possibly, um, who I feel would be very good for the Blazers, especially as a guy who can come in and hit threes, you know what I'm saying? Um, or a guy like Mark Williams, who could be potentially our third big um, starting off in the season, but could really push a guy like Isaiah Roby for the backup spot minutes, you know? Um, I feel like both of these options are very, very intriguing, and they definitely help the Blazers right away. Um, and they'll still be equipped with that full mid-level exception to get a very impactful player in free agency so it's really looking very good like some of these both of these options are very good options for the blazers now that og Ananobi opportunity without having to give up any players that could really make the blazers very dangerous you know they would just end up having to go a different route um instead of drafting they probably would have to go into free agency and get a center or something like that you know which is still fine with me because they're still equipped like i said with that full mid-level exception so they could definitely bring a very impactful guy over so this is <laughs> both of these moves really really help the blazers you know um in more ways than one and we'll see how it plays out there's only a few hours left so we'll see what the Blazers end up doing. But no matter which option it is, I'm going to be very excited as a Blazers fan, you know, because they're going to be very dangerous. And, they're, and we're not even talking about free agency yet. But I don't have too much else on this one. This is your boy P Money. 
tell me what you guys think. And I'm off this.